Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nestin Padasale. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the ICMR JRF examination syllabus. So in the information bulletin, they just mentioned they didn't have a specific syllabus for this ICMR JRF. They asked us to follow the syllabus that was given by UGC. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my customized syllabus for this ICMR JRF examination, which will be really helpful. So they just mentioned from which unit or from which particular subject the questions will be asked. At the same time, I also gone through past five year question paper for ICMR JRF and then only I had customized the syllabus. I had gone through the syllabus that was given for CSIR Life Sciences, GATE, BT, GATE, Excel, DBT, BetJRF examination and then I had customized. If you want this particular syllabus, mean, please do tell me. And provide your mail ID, I will be sharing you the syllabus with you. Because only if you have the syllabus in your hand, you can have a direction in your preparation for your ICMR JRF. Okay. So, first is biochemistry unit. That's a very important unit. So, first topic is with regarding to covalent structure of your amino acid, protein, nucleotide, uh, nucleic acid, carbohydrate and lipid. So, give a... Uh, uh, in the next part of the video, I will be sharing you the important topic. Okay. In this video, I am just sharing you the syllabus alone. Next, you need to know about important forces like what are the type of bond bonding that are present and what are the particular type of forces that are stabilizing your biomolecule. Next, you need to know about protein structure like tertiary structure, quaternary structure and uh, secondary structure. Along with that, you should know about Ramachandran plant. Next, with regarding to confirmation of nucleic acid, again, a very important topic. You need to know about different forms of DNA and also you need to give a special interest to study the structure of tRNA. Next, basic thermodynamic concepts. Next, pH, ionic strength and buffer. Last, you need to know about enzymology. So, in the enzymology, you need, to, you need to study about kinetic. At the same time, equal importance should be given for the inhibition also. Enzyme inhibition. Okay. So, the next topic is cell biology. So, first thing you should know about membrane structure and function. Like plasma layer, lipid bilayer and about diffusion, membrane diffusion and type of transport mechanism. Additionally, you should know about protein sorting. Okay, so next you should know about various intracellular organelles and what about the function. So, at least two to three questions will be coming from cell biology, friends. So, one question will be asked from cell organelles, location, the list of enzymes located in that particular cellular organelle and the function of that particular organelle. Next, you need to know about cell division and cell cycle like mitosis, meiosis and regulation of cell cycle. Next, you need to know about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell structure. Next, you need to know about cell to cell communication and extracellular matrix and cell signaling and cell signal transduction. This is a very important topic. Next is cell death and autophagy. Third unit is your molecular biology. So, first thing you need to know about DNA replication and in the DNA replication you need to know about what are the enzymes involved in replication difference between replication in prokaryotes and eukaryotes dna damage and repair mechanism after replication you need to know about transcription so you need to know about transcriptional factors a uh, different type of rna polymerase that are present in prokaryotes and eukaryotes and type of post translation modification and next thing is regarding to translation in which you know you need to know about the structure of ribosome or uh, how a the initiation complex has been formed and amino acylation of tRNA. So, tRNA is a hot topic. So, don't forget to read about tRNA and you need to know about translation inhibitor, list of antibiotics that are inhibiting translation. The next important topic is post-translation and modification of protein. At last important topic with regarding to mole bio unit is role of chromatin in regulating the gene expression and gene silencing. Unit number four is immunology in which you need to know about cell and organelles of immune system, antigen, antigenicity and immunogenicity, uh, structure and function of antibody molecule and generation of antibody diversity and monoclonal antibody and antibody engineering and antigen antibody interactions like what are the different type of immunological assays based on antigen and antibody interaction like precipitation, agglutination, ELISA like that. And next you need to know about MHC molecule. 
uh, antigen processing and presentation, activation and differentiation of B cell and T cell, complement system, hypersensitivity, uh, autoimmunity and vaccine. Next, you need to know about immune response during bacterial infection, parasitic infection and viral infection. Fifth unit is environmental biology. So, first you need to know about an ecosystem. Usual thing like with regarding to trophic structure, food chain, food web like that. And next you need to know about polluting. Like, like list of pollution, environmental pollution, type of pollution, how the particular production uh, pollution has been detected, and environmental monitoring technique. Next, you need to know about few water pollution sources measurement and next wastewater treatment, solid water treatment, how industrial effluents are treated, and you need to know about environmental pollution control, like biodegradation, biostimulation, bioremediation, and xenobiotics. Next, you need to know about environment friendly techniques that are currently there, like biogas biofuel, biosurfactant, biofertilizer. So you need to know about the recent innovation in that particular thing. <coughs> next, you need to know about how a pollution is being monitored like that. Okay. So the next important unit is recombinant DNA technology in which you need to know about enzymes used in recombinant DNA technology and about how a DNA has been purified, northern blot, southern blot and about a type of different vectors available and how a particular protein, recombinant protein has been expressed. You need to know about western blotting technique also and you need to know about in vitro mutagenesis, gene knock-in technology and gene knockout technology and you should know about different type of PCR and also you need to know about different type of sequencing technology and microarray based techniques and how a DNA polymer polymorphism has been analyzed like RFLP, REPD, AFLP technique along with that you need to know about biosafety techniques okay so unit number seven is methods of biotechnology biology which include biostatistics biochemical methods like chromatography like that and UV visible spectroscopy and you need to know about fundamental of CD, IR, Raman and centrifugation, microscopy and fundamental of X NMR and cryo electron microscopy. Regarding to genetics, first you need to know about Mendelian principle, next concepts of genes like what is an allele, what is a multiple allele, what is an example of multiple allele, pseudo allele like that and you need to know about what this means by codominance, what this means by paleotrophy like that. You need to know about the definition alone. Next, extra chromosomal inheritance and microbial genetics which include conjugation, transduction and how a particular gene has been mapped been regarding to interrupted mapping and and next, you need to know about human genetics, which include pedigree analysis, type of diseases, example of autosomal dominant pattern, autosomal recessive, like that you need to know. So, pedigree is a very important thing. Okay. The so next, you need to know about mutation and structural numerical alteration, alteration of chromosomes and recombination. Next, botany is again an important thing. So, first, you need to know about systematics, plant systematics, plant anatomy and morphogenetic and development like organogenesis, embryogenesis, seed germination. And along with that, you need to know about physiology and biochemistry of plant like stromatal physiology signal transduction type of phytohormone that are involved flowering mechanism and how a plant senescence mean is being done okay so you also you need to know about secondary metabolite and additionally you need to know about plant breeding and genetic modification so breeding techniques available in plant and you also need to need to know about genetically engineered crop so this is again a very important thing okay so next you need to know about economic botany like what are the different type of economically and medicinally important plant and list of metabolite that are produced from them last is plant pathology like list of diseases affecting plant next is human physiology which include all type of systems like circulatory system, excretory system, respiratory system, nervous system, digestive system and endocrine system. So endocrine system is very important. The 11th unit is evolution which include uh, various evolutionary laws and theories that are given by various scientists and you need to know about origin of cell and various theories that are there and next you need to know about paleontology evidences. So this is a highly important topic friends. So paleontology and evolution history from with this particular unit nearly one questions will be coming next is microbiology in which you need to starting from history to methods in microbiology microbial taxonomy prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell are organal microbial growth like list of um, uh, medias that are employed for go growing a microorganism growth curve and sterilization technique like how will you be controlling a microorganism and also you need to know about microbial metabolism also unit number 11 is veterinary sciences which you should know about 
breeds of cattle and poultry poultry diseases and diseases affecting cattle okay next you need to know about animal parasitology which include you need to know about host parasite interaction and how are uh, parasites and other infections are being transmitted to domestic animals so diseases that are affecting domestic animal you need to know along with the diseases you also need to know about the diagnostic techniques also additionally you need to concentrate on animal virology which include rna and dna uh, virus causing disease in livestock and poultry okay Additionally, you need to know about the laboratory animal model for viral infection. Next is human disease and diagnosis. So, you need to give a special concentration on studying infections of infections in gastrointestinal tract, respiratory system and other diseases that I had listed over here. You need to know list of uh, diseases, the causative organism and what diagnostic method and what is a preventive method for those diseases. You need to give a special importance for studying sexually transmitted diseases and after studying the diseases, you need to give a special focus focus on DNA based diagnosis, antibody based diagnosis and proteomic based diagnosis and then therapies. So gene therapy, cellular therapy, recombinant therapy and immune therapy. Okay, the last unit is bioinformatics in which you need to know about biological database and type of biological database and then you need to know about sequence alignment and visualization tools like FASTA, BLAST, multiple sequence alignment and 3D structural views like that you need to know. So, this is a basic thing that these are the list of topic and this is an syllabus for ICMR JRF. I know many of you will be searching in website for this ICMR JRF syllabus. Although ICMR will not release a prescribed syllabus, they just ask us to follow UGC syllabus. So, here in that particular syllabus which I am showing you is a pool of syllabus that I had collected from various other examination like I had gone through D. BT bed GRF exam syllabus, I had gone through ICMR JRF syllabus and I had gone through CSA JRF syllabus. From that I have pulled and I had given you a customized syllabus. So if you find this particular video useful, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you friends, thanks for watching this video.